Hey guys, um, this is my second take. And so I'm going to put this right here. I did get a, um, a tripod. My 10 year old daughter saw a tripod at five below. That was really a nice one. Like it, you see how this bends? It was not like this at all. <clears throat> she said, ma, just get this. She said, mommy, you should get this. This is a good one. It's not like your little flimsy one. I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. <clears throat> I should have listened to the 10 year old. Anyway, I was taping this and I got halfway through. Not halfway. I only did these two cards. So I'm going to go over it real quick. Hey, everybody. This is Danny Moon here. Karen, a.k.a. The Pole Girl, whatever you want to call me. I really should come in with that introduction. But I feel like if you come into my channel, you know who I am. <laughs> Um, so sorry, I will get better with, with introducing myself to the new people who don't know me. Um, anyway, the first card you got was no. And um, what God is telling you here, spirit, your God, well, whoever you believe in, is that before you take any hasty movements in your life, if you're sitting in your feelings, because today I woke up, I wasn't in a really good mood at all. I really miss my mother. I was crying, um, just bad, just in a bad mood, like depression. You know, depression hits people in all different type of ways. It's all about how you get out of that depression. If you sit in your depression um, and you don't deal with what Depression's not a, a, a see-through thing. Depression means there's issues going on. So you have to sit within yourself and sit with those issues and work them out. Um, and I did a little bit of that. I didn't do a lot of it. I meditated and I thought about my issues all this morning. I got up out of my crying because I said I wasn't going to do that today. Um, and I moved on to here because this community... Um, this community, this YouTube thing, even with the new subscribers, you make me feel good to come here and be able to do pull these cards for you guys, for myself too. Anyway, I'm not the only one that's crying today. Trust me. <laughs> um, so spirit is telling you with this no card before you jump into anything hasty, cause you're sitting in your feelings like me or you're a little depressed like me. I um, mean, before you go out and, uh, and I don't, I'm just making up examples, y'all. Before you go out and move away or go buy a pack of cigarettes or go spend money you don't have before you do something hasty, God is telling you, just say no, say no to your inner self, say no. Nope. Step back, get a clear mind, go within, get a different perspective on whatever the situation is. See what your accountability of the situation is. You have to, let me tell you something, y'all. Whenever there's a confrontation, a conflict, even if it's a conflict within yourself, say if you don't have, say if you don't have nothing going on, no, no fighting, no arguing with nobody, right? Sorry, you know, I always fix my do-rag on camera. Anyway, um, say if you don't have nothing going on and everything is fine in your life, but maybe you're struggling with who you are. Maybe you're struggling on your spiritual path. Maybe you're struggling with just a common decision that you need to make, whatever it is. Spirit is telling you to take a step back and get some clarity on a situation before you make a hasty decision. You know what I'm saying? Look at it from every point you can from this aspect, from this perspective, from your perspective, then take an overview, look at the whole thing, and then you're able to step back in with logic, not with your feelings. You know, stepping back into it and use your logical mind on what's going on, and then you'll be able to make a better decision or just a decision. Um, so that's what that card is about. The next one I got is called, and I was in the middle of this when I, the first taping I taped. All I'm going to say is that this is called Min Taken. Can you see the wording? M-I-N-T-A-K-A-N. So I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. I don't know what's up with my lighting. I thought, you know, I got some candles right here. The door's open. So I'm trying to get some natural lighting and I have my lamp on. So if, you, if I'm looking red or crazy, just listen to the words, okay? Um, Men Taken was a, a group of people. This is what it says in the book. I'm just letting you know. And these cards are Work Your Light, 
I love this deck, Rebecca Campbell. I love all of her cards. So these are Oracle cards. If you ever just want to like get some Oracle cards, not tarot cards, like overall general, um, overall general cards for your life, these cards will be super great. Work your light. You could get them right off of Amazon. <laughs> anyway, um, even though I got that from the, I didn't get that from the, I got that from her um, website. These was people who um, didn't feel like they, they was from a planet, okay? I know this sounds crazy like a movie. Just imagine it in your head. They was like aliens and they was from a certain planet and then they came to earth and then, you know, they was in human form and then they just felt alone no matter how much, how much they was amongst people, no matter how much famous they was. They felt alone. They was yearning for their own planet, their own way of life. Okay. So the way I want you to apply this to your life is just what I said. If you feel alone or if you feel like you don't belong or if you feel like you're looking for a tribe. Um, and what I mean by that is sometimes you end up by yourself and you just don't have your family, or maybe you just don't have a family. Maybe it's just you and your kid, or maybe it's just you and your your sister, or you and your mom, or you and your niece, or you and your nephew. Maybe it's just you, or maybe it's just you. And maybe you're looking for a tribe of people who walk the same spiritual path as you, or maybe does the same line of work as you. A tribe could be whatever your tribe you want to be. You know what I'm saying? The card is basically saying like, you feel like you don't belong. You know what I'm saying? Um, so when you are feeling like you don't belong, okay, you use your resources at hand. And what I mean by that is if you have a friend, a cousin, a mentor, a teacher, a wise person, a pastor, reach out. Talk to somebody. That's the first thing I will always tell people. Use the resources that are right in front of you. Then you'll say, well, Karen, I don't have any of that. There's always a hotline. There's always some type of 1-800 hotline. I need to talk to somebody. And you know what? I'm going to find one and I'm going to post it on all of my, I'm going to start posting it on all of my YouTube videos. Um, Reach out to somebody, talk to somebody. And now if you're watching my channel, you can never say you have nobody because you can always email me at Karen, K-A-R-E-N, the number four and the word dance, D-A-N-C-E at Gmail. If you don't want to do no type of reading and you just want to talk to somebody, just hit me up. That's all you got to do. Um, Facebook, Karen Alexander. Yes, there's a thousand. If you put in some keywords like Danny Moon or maybe Alex um, or pole dancing, because you know that's what I teach, I'll pop, you're going to find me. Okay, so you can never say you have nobody and you can never say you don't have any resources because I am the person who will point you in the direction of where you need to go or what tools you can use to feel better. Okay. Um, on the other hand, some people are in like hermit mode or they're introverts where they like being alone. I have my days like that, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I used to be an outgoing person because I had so many jobs in New York. Um, but now I like being with my daughter or home by myself. I feel at peace. You should be wherever you feel peace is where you belong. You know what I'm saying? And that doesn't mean anywhere crazy. That means right here on earth with us. Always reach out. Always reach out. Always reach out. Okay? I know that took a long time to say, but I really wanted you to um, get the understanding of that card. It's okay if you feel if you feel not a part of a of a pact or if you want it's okay. You know what I'm saying? But if things go awry or you're getting crazy thoughts, just reach out. 
always reach out, you know. Um, the next one is the initiation. And when I read up on this, this really is saying like crossing the threshold. Like I am walking this spiritual path and I want to say it's new, but it's not new. I always believed in God. I always prayed. We always occasionally went to church. My family is very much into the Lord. I, my mother instilled that in me. This spiritual path is just an it's just an attachment of that. You know, learning different tools like the tarot card, like the oracle cards, like meditation, like the chakra system. Um, you know, all these different things. Um, and there's several other things that I'm reading, like the book I told y'all about. Um, it's by Jay. It's called Mastery of Self. Right now, his name is Jay something, and I can't remember it. I'm sorry. But, you know, it's just like an extension of what, of, you know, an extension of what my belief was. This is, this is what my spiritual walk is. And it's starting to get deeper. I'm crossing a threshold where that's what the initiation is. Like, it's okay. Spirit is trying to tell you it is okay to cross that threshold and to, dive into self to dive into your spirituality um and if people are watching this like well i don't want to do that dive into yourself dive into whatever you want to do um i know you don't want to just be your same old same old for 80 years right like you can't possibly want to work the same job sit in the same spot do the same thing for 105 years i know these are crazy numbers just coming to my brain but you know what i'm saying i know you just don't want to be the average joe for the rest of your life when i die y'all i want to leave a mark i want my baby to be able to say my mother did this my mother did that you know i don't have to leave a mark on the world as long as i leave a legacy a mark my that somebody could say oh yeah i knew that girl karen she did mad shit like she was danny moon she did the oracle card she did the tarot she did the pole dancing she worked here she worked there like she was a really good person that's what i want you know what i'm saying and in order for you to gain those things is you have to have forward movement forward movement in your life when you take when you take forward movement and you're walking a spiritual path cross that threshold be the, have that initiation where you say to self do i want to dive into this and you need to say yes to that okay um let me read that one that one to you mm -hmm. um and I want you, I want to read just a little bit. I know y'all hate, probably hate when I be reading, but hey. I already folded the page down. See, it's right here. And I marked it. So it says, initiations like rite of passage. Mark the shift, mark the shift from one age to the next. And can take place because of emotional turmoil, great loss, grief, or devastation. But it is through the seeming hardship that our heart cracks open and our spirit is invested to step forward. We take the sacred voyage into, into more of who we are and who we came and who we came here to be, right? That's the threshold. Like you was born here and as you walk the you walk your path, it doesn't have to be a spiritual path. As you walk and grow your everyday life, you know what I'm saying? Again, the seeming hardship that our heart cracks open and our spirit is invested to step forward. We take the sacred voyage into, mo into more of who we are and who we came here to be. When you come here, you're, you're, you're living your daily life, but who did you come he here to be? Like live who you want, live. Whew, I know spirit is trying to get this message out. You was born here and you have your job and you have your daily life, right? Now spirit is saying 
live who you came here to really be. That means your desires, your passions, your do-it-yourself projects, you're making your candle, you're doing your side projects, you want to do music. If you want to do music, don't let this world or nobody else stop you from doing it. You know what I'm saying? Do what brings you peace. Do what brings you, do what spirit leads you to do. You are divinely guided. So please do follow those, follow spirit steps. As long as everything is safe and you're not hurting nobody around you, cross the threshold and say, it's okay for me to do this and to do that and to dive deeper into who I am. Okay, I hope you understood that, you know. Sometimes I have to rail it in. I have to take a little breath. And I have to talk slower. I'm trying to rush because y'all know my camera cuts off at 33 minutes. <laughs> I am going to invest in the camera, y'all. It will get better. Just keep following me and you will see you you will see this page grow, okay? So, um initiation, y'all. Do you that's what, that's, initiation is like, aka, do you, as long as it's safe and it's not hurting nobody, and as long as you're growing from it, do you. <clears throat> okay, that was those three. The next one you got is, 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 <laughs> storm warning, boom, 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 boom. It's not a bad card, y'all. All, it, all it's saying is that, you know, we all have intuitions. And if you feel like something's brewing, if you feel like you're about to get in trouble at work, or if you feel like you about to, you open your mouth and you about to get in trouble with your friends, or if you feel like you about to fight, thank, hopefully you're not, God forbid. Or if you feel like, if you feel like a storm is about to come in your life, do something about it. Don't sit there and let it happen. Make a conscious decision. And I'm going to read that to you. Number 10. I already pulled, I already folded the page, y'all. Um, this card indicates a potential difficulty either in the external world or within yourself and your emotional life. The difficulty is coming closer and you may have... Already heard rumblings of potential problems around you. I read that very clearly. I hope y'all got that. Um, that's only saying like, you know, something's brewing. Something's coming. Okay. Um, the caution here is to be conscious. Yet not fearful. Be conscious. Don't ignore the rumbling. Don't ignore like, you know, something's coming. You know, something's about to happen. Maybe you did something wrong. Let's put it out there. Maybe you did something wrong. Maybe you said something wrong. Maybe you said something to offend someone. Maybe maybe they get mad. Maybe there's arguments around you. Maybe you about to argue. You feel, Maybe you argued already and you feel like another argument's coming on. Spirit is telling you to be use your conscious mind, not your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is going to get you deeper in that hole. Use your conscious mind. Look at the situation. If you did something wrong, take accountability. You know what I'm saying? Say, yo, you know, yeah, I did this, blah, blah, blah. Make it right. Move on your business. Okay? Remember, this card is a warning. The storm is not here yet. It's a warning. So you have time. To make whatever situation right. Okay? So, your next card you got is... Door to personal healing and happiness. But you got it in reverse. Normally, I tell you, I don't do reverses. But it came out exactly reverse. So, that means spirit has something to tell you. Um... Mm, I'm not even going to expand on that because I, I think I forgot what the reversed definition meant. I folded the page, y'all. Here we go, reverse. Um, you may be feeling stuck. Didn't we just talk about that? We talked about that. Oh, I put the card away. We talked about that. I can't make this shit up, yo. 
you know, spirit brings, how did I know that I was going to pick a card that matched another card from a different deck that's saying the same thing? Okay. So please adhere to what spirit is trying to tell you. Okay. You may be feeling stuck where you, where your personal intentions are concerned. Self mastery and discipline may be hand to, may be hard to achieve right now, or specific plans for personal change may be, be may be being blocked. So whatever your good intentions is, or whatever your um whatever your intentions is to do, something's blocking it. Okay, it it doesn't say what to do. I'm sorry, I closed the book. Um, is being blocked. Remember that your intentions need to be clear and un unconflicted unconflicted you don't need to your intentions don't need, need to be like oh my god i don't know what to do should i go here should i go there it should be unconflicted no problems with it very thorough plan you should know what your intentions are it should be direct specific and clear that's how i tell you to write your intentions with your candle magic but back to this um, remember that your intentions need to be clear and un unconflicted. Whatever you're working on, you need to know that you are capable of achieving it and that you and that you deserve it. Put your heart into the plans and changes you desire and realize that you are worth your own time and effort. Okay, the new beginning you seek will come with your own focus and patient determination. That was very clear. Very clear. If you need for me to to like go more deeper in that, if you want me to go deeper in that, I will. You email me or leave a comment and I'll get back to you. That was very clear. Make your intentions clear. Don't be iffy or funny or shady about it. Um, that was about your personal growth and you got it in reverse. It's saying that you're stuck, you're stagnant, you're stalemate. Okay. I just did some signs on those, um, Capricorn, Aquarius, one of them, you know what I'm saying? And it was the same thing, stuck, stalemate. And it's something that everybody goes through y'all. But when you are like that, don't sit in it. Just don't sit in it. Um, next card. See what I mean about the cards? All of them are like basically saying the same thing. You had a card saying like cross the threshold into your spiritual world, your spirituality, um, cross the threshold of doing you. Then you had the card of saying, no, don't be hasty now. Think about it. Walk the path slowly. Do your research. Okay. The third card was initiation. Um, no, the third card was the intakings. If you're not, if you're feeling like you don't belong, um, reach out to me, blah, blah, blah. It's all about self-care. It's all about going within. All of these cards are about going within, taking your time, stop being stuck. Okay. This next card says transformation. Okay. We're all in that phase of, and I believe everybody has like a transformation moment, you know, because we get older. We not the same from 12 to 30. You know what I mean? Each, each year, each bracket, each time, whatever your year is, whatever your bracket is, you change, you grow, your mind expands. Okay. So they're saying you are in right now, you are in a transformation. You're growing, you're, you're, your spirituality is growing. You're starting to see. You're starting to question yourself. You're starting to go within. You're starting to, um, and I want to say meditate, but maybe some of you are not starting to meditate, but maybe you should, okay? Um, this deck is real fancy. I love it. I love it because it's very diverse with all of our people on it. Um, but it's very fancy. So if you can't read that, that says move through fear, move through fear. So if you are trans, if you in the middle of a transformation, don't be stuck like them other cards. Don't be like that other card I just read that that's in reverse. Don't be stuck. 
You transform it. You you in a transformation right now. Move through your fear. Don't be scared and don't be stuck because you're scared. Don't be stuck because of fear. I'm telling you, my friend just told me last night. She told me that last night. Lynette, oh my God, you told me that last night. Do not let fear keep you stuck. And then you'll never have no peace. Mm -mm. I'm trying to, I like to put my stuff away as I go. Um, that one came from the Mystic Rebel deck. I don't know who this is by right now. Anyway, the Mystic Rebel deck. Um, and you know the other ones came from my energy oracle cards. I always I, I pull from these every day. All right. 25, we up to 25, y'all. Got two more cards here. Um, <laughs> this, yo, I swear. <clears throat> you think I'm playing with y'all. This says move through fear. Transformation. This card right here, it says make a move. Are you, are, you, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are you here with me? Are you here with me, y'all? You got to be here with me. Okay, make a move. All right? I just talked about being stagnated. I just talked about being stuck and stalemated and how your life won't grow. I just talked about crossing your threshold, walking your spiritual path, <clears throat> going within. Spirit is telling me that there, there is a lot of us Oh, because this is me too, y'all. Sometimes I get real comfortable and I don't want to move, okay? So, Spirit is telling us, make a move. <laughs> I'm not going to even elaborate on that. I just elaborated on all of that through all of the cards. So, these cards is the Everyday Witch Oracle by Deborah Blake. I love her cards. I need to get... The Everyday Witch Tarot cards, which I'm going to get next. But I love the Oracle cards. So this one says, and look how beautiful. Look at the colors on that. Make a move, y'all. Just make a move. And then this one says, meditation for peace and serenity. This was your last card. Beautiful. So that's that. That is that, y'all. Um, most of the time I get up here, y'all, and all my messages are are kind of the same, you know. And I thought to myself, like, well, Karen, you got to switch it up if you want your... No, I'm not going to switch nothing up. I'm going to give the people what spirit gives me, plain and simple. Now, with my tarot cards, I will be diving into like Korean finances with the with the signs probably next month, you know, and if you're looking for something different there, then look for something like that. But especially with these Oracle cards, y'all, you know, it's really all about change. That's what it's about. Change. Now, of course, we want to change the world, right? But that change has to start with self. And that goes for everyone. You know, including me, including me, I have to take a step back sometimes and reflect and see where other people are coming from. That's how you grow. That is how you change. So let's start doing it together. You know, if we do it together, y'all like my black girl? And my moon? Um... If we start doing that together, you won't feel so alone, maybe. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to get off here, y'all. I'm sending love and light your way. I always want to give you another card. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Don't y'all want another card? I want to use up my time. I got four minutes. <laughs> Spirit, can you please give them a shine? Ooh, thank you, Spirit. Can you please give them a healing card? Please, can we get the energy of the collective gods, goddesses, angels, 
Spirit guides, can we please give the collective who is watching a daily message from the healing deck? Can we please give a message from the healing deck? Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, can I get... Thank you, Spirit. See, Spirit is good to us. All right. This doesn't have a book. This doesn't come with a book. Mine's doesn't, at least. This is the Charmic Healing Deck. So the first one you got... And this is not a scary card, y'all. It's Death. You see it? It looks scary, but it's not. You know what this is? A transformation card. You're shedding. All of that old stuff is dying away. And you see how spirit works? Spirit took that card out. You see that I didn't touch it. I just shuffled the deck. Okay? And spirit giving us the same message. Shed that old skin. And when you shed that skin, the fear will go away with it too. The second card was... forgiveness sometimes you have to in order to forgive other people y'all sometimes you have to start with you and forgive yourself of things that might have might have happened in the past you could have blamed yourself you uh, I know that sometimes I'm really hard on myself really really hard on myself um so forgiveness is something that we should all should all have within us. You know, we should never hold grudges and we should never um we should never think things are that bad where we can't. I didn't say forget. Understand. Spirit didn't say forget. You never forget. You write shit down if you have to. But we should always have forgiveness in our heart. Okay, I love y'all. Um, I'll be back. I'm coming back to do something else with the tarot. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Danny Moon, I'm out. <laughs>